Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, just some thoughts. I wanted to get an update here. Uh, just sitting here in the greenhouse, have a few minutes, and hopefully before my phone either overheats or whatever. Run out of battery, that'd be another option. Uh, so, take the case off. Alrighty. Don't have a refrigerator out here to cool it down. So, all right, uh, just some thoughts. I uh, was pondering, kind of remembering uh, ancient history for me back around 94, 95. Um, the militia movement, uh, John Trockman, Militia of Montana, Bob Fletcher, um, M O M Mom. I remember getting a video in. Starting, just popped it in, VHS tape, you know, starting to watch it. And uh, it was a video of a room of about two or three hundred people. And they were throwing questions right and left at the two guys at the head of the room. Those two men were uh, Bob Fletcher, who was helping back then, and uh, John Trockman. John and his wife Carol and their son... Um, David, I think. Don't remember. Uh, one, one of the, two of their sons kind of helped, but um, anyway, John Trockman, Bob Fletcher were fielding questions, and I watched it for about a half an hour, and then I'm like, "What in the world is going on here?" And I realized that um, the two or three hundred people were reporters from all over the world, France, England, you name it. AP and UPI reporters and they were throwing questions at Bob and John and they were answering every one of them with with supporting documentation it, it was amazing so this kind of an introduction to the whole scenario they put out a lot of tapes and John would always say you know we're not out here running out in the woods with camouflage and shooting guns he said that is not the purpose of what we're doing here this is information we're trying to uh, educate people and free their minds and get them to think correctly. Now, one of the things that I remember that he always said was, people, we need to store up stuff. Bibles, beans, bandages, bullets. And he would say, in that order, people, in that order. Um, in other words, you know, your supreme reliance, your number one uh, prepping preparedness or whatever you want to call it, survivalist um, basis should be a dependence and understanding that we are subservient to and dependent upon the grace of God to survive what's coming. Beans, food, bandages, medical equipment, bullets, last item on the list. Unfortunately, it's first on everybody's list, almost everybody's. So we need to get away from the thinking that guns are going to save us. They're not. Um, it's, a, it's just an, a fallacy, a major fallacy. Another thing that he... Um, and in another way to say that, I'll just say that real quick, is, you know, uh, Bible, God... Um, groceries, gauze, and gold, or guns, gold. Okay, in that order, in that order, okay. So, another thing that he, he would say is that, if, you know, if you don't have communications, you don't have anything. If you're not able to stay in touch with reality, with what is going on around you, you're going to be at the mercy of everything that's going on around you. And in other words, another way to say that was, um, you know, if you don't, if you have two rifles, sell one and get a scanner. Um, uh, you know, just communications, ham radio, uh, shortwave radio. Uh, we need to know what's happening out there in the world, and especially close to you. And that's where a scanner comes in handy. Um, so, another thing that he said was, you know, there are a lot of people doing prepping and the young people don't really know they don't have the skills they don't have the knowledge they don't have the uh, 
experience at doing what needs to be done, growing food, uh, starting a fire, building a shelter, whatever it may be, homesteading basically is what you're, we're looking at here. So he said, you old people, you know, hook up with some young people and, you know, you have the money, you have the resources, you have the, the farm, you have the, uh, the equipment, and what are you going to do with it? You know, I'll say here, uh, ain't nobody ever seen a hearse being followed by a U-Haul. Okay, not going to make it into heaven with your gold or your guns or your groceries or anything. The only thing that's going to get you into heaven is God. So, uh, but hook up with you know young people, learn from the old people, old people help the young people. We need to work together. So, um, I think there was one other thing I wanted to just reference, but uh, so you know he he was he had a lot of good. Uh, wise things to pass on and whatever people think of him or that that time um, those statements are definitely valid and definitely true and we need to you know do them so you know where I'm out here uh, you know I'm, I'm living here with a friend who he and his wife built a 